Hello everybody, uh, Dave 12 of the Impromptu Speaker. Let's get cracking today. i um, got a busy day planned, so um, let's get this neatly done. Uh, still on James, and his topic for today will be Why is there fluff on a tennis ball? This is a question I've never really considered. Um, I do play tennis, I'm quite a fan of tennis actually, I was lucky enough to go to quite a few games during the Wimbledon tournament last year, uh, which is a cracking place, um, an amazing atmosphere, the centre court, I was lucky enough to get, it's about three four days on the centre court, and it's great because unlike a lot of other sporting occasions, you can take a couple of beers in there, sit back, relax and just enjoy the sunshine. And tennis is a great game because it can go on for three or four hours per match. And at Wimbledon you can get three or four matches on a centre court. So you've got a whole day. And now that they've got the um, retractable roof, happy days because even if it rains you can still watch tennis. But back to the original question, why is there fluff on a tennis ball? Um, I do not know, so please do not take this as gospel, but also has something to do with the the material that covers the tennis ball. I suspect that will have an impact on the way the tennis ball travels through the air. Um, if you think about a golf ball, which has all those little dimples on it, dimples on it, sorry, um, that actually makes a big difference to the way the ball flies through the air. A similar way, I would imagine that a tennis ball has fluff, which somehow um, makes a difference to its flight through the air as the uh, tennis player brushes up against the side of the of the ball. I do know that on a tennis racket, if you've got all the fluff on the centre of your racket, that shows that you've been hitting the ball in the right place and also been putting lots of topspin on it because you're really brushing up against as much of the surface area of the tennis ball as possible. Um, maybe one for people to research, but I'm not entirely sure why there's fluff on a tennis ball, but I suspect it's to have an aerodynamical impact and help put spin on the ball. So that's my view on fluff on a tennis ball. Thank you guys, and I look forward to speaking to you tomorrow.